go. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at changes in our side-by-side -side graphs that happen when the firm has a change in MRP. Now, if you remember, the formula for MRP is marginal product times the price of the good. So anything that changes the worker's productivity or the popularity of the item being produced changes our MRP, and we're going to be able to see these changes on our graph. So if, for example, the productivity of the workers increases, it'll increase my MRP. So I can draw a new MRP curve right here, and that's a new demand for labor curve. And since I have a new curve, it makes a new profit maximizing point, and that will show me that I am now able to hire more workers. So an increase in MRP means I can hire more workers. Now, on the other hand, if something causes either the price of the good to decrease or my workers to become less productive, then I would have to show it on my graph a different way. A decrease in MRP will move my graph this way. That makes a new profit maximizing point here which tells me that this would be the new number of workers that I would hire, which would be less than the previous profit maximizing point at the original MRP.